Well, at 637, it's also a time for a look at what is happening in the entertainment world. And Marcus Allen, I know you're joining us live with a big loss in the entertainment world. Yeah, no kidding. The entertainment world and the music world has lost a legend. Take a look. Remembering music royalty and a Motown legend. Hey, yes, baby. Yes, baby. Mary Wilson, a founding member of the Supremes, has died at 76. She was young when her life changed forever. As a girl, she lived in a Detroit housing project. As a teen, she lived a dream, becoming one of the Supremes alongside Diana Ross and Florence Ballard. She had a good life and appreciated what she had. We came from a time when, as black people, it wasn't, you didn't dream about becoming a star. You didn't dream about making money. It was all about the, being a human being, being respected, being equal. It was magic. It really was magic. I always knew that we were going to last forever. And when it didn't, uh, it really almost destroyed me in, in a way of that dream being, wow, how could it end when it was so good? Mary was a New York Times bestseller with a memoir, Dream Girl, My Life is a Supreme, but also did a coffee table book full of personal stories and hundreds of fashion photos. She even took on Dancing with the Stars at 75. But if you want to know who she really was, listen to these words of her favorite song. I still believe in chasing dreams and placing bets, but I have learned that all you give is all you get. So give it all you got. Ah, that voice. Uh, thank goodness her music will live on forever, but sad to see her go. I've got a great behind the scenes story that will kind of tell you who she was. A friend of mine was a producer for 2020 a few years back, and they did this social media experience uh, where they had uh, a person singing on a street corner, stop in the name of love and singing intentionally badly and had Mary Wilson coaching her, uh, criticizing the person about how bad they were, just to see if people would stop and defend the person that was singing badly intentionally. Mary Wilson, at the end of every take, would track down the person that she uh, was yelling at and say, I'm so sorry, it was just for television. And they had to constantly do resets because <laughs> she uh, didn't want to offend people, if even for a theatrical experiment. Uh, great person, one of the greatest talents that music will ever know, and thank goodness her music lives on forever. I love that story. Thank you so much for sharing it with us. Of course, we'll stay connected throughout the day.